Hey guys, Crypto Dad here again, and today I'm going to show you how to use the Tangem cryptocurrency hardware wallet. The good people over at Tangem were nice enough to send me one of their wallets. So I'm gonna do a quick unboxing, show you how to get it set up, how to transfer some crypto in and transfer some crypto out. So the interesting thing about this wallet is there is no backup phrase. You're given a secondary card. In the case of this model, you're given two secondary cards and those are your backups. You store those in a safe place. So there's no risk of you accidentally revealing your backup phrase, which happens to a lot of people when they get scammed. There's really no way to reveal the private key of this wallet because it is held safely and securely on the device and you can't see it, right? So basically you trust in your device with this wallet. Very easy to set up and use and keep safe in your own possession. So let's take a look at how this wallet works. All right, so I'll go ahead and open it up here. Oh, interesting. When you open it up, it pushes this part out from the other side. That's pretty cool. <laughs> All righty. So here are the cards and here are some instructions. All right, so I went ahead and entered the web address there for get started. We'll just head over there. All right, there's the home page. We want to download the app. And so I'll scroll down there to where I've got the uh, app links and I'll choose get. All right, so the first thing we'll do is scan the card. I'm gonna go ahead and take it out. As you can see, I have the three card uh, model. There's a model that comes with two, but in this case, there's a, a primary card and two backups. I don't think it matters which card you start with, right? So I'm gonna choose a scan card. All right, so I'm just gonna tap the card, the bottom of the phone or I guess maybe the bottom of it. There it goes. Okay, very nice. That was easy. I'll accept all of this and then we'll create a wallet. So now we are initializing the wallet by doing this. This is the random key generation. All right, and once we've activated the original card, we can create our backups using the other two cards that I have over here, or you may just have one backup. So we'll start backup now. All right, we're gonna add one backup card. So we'll scan a another card, just like we did the first one. That's done. All right, we've got one backup card added. I'll put that aside. And I'm gonna add one more to the process. So I'll get my, my third one ready. Oops. We'll choose add backup card. All right, tap this card. All right, so I've got two backup cards done and then I'll choose finalize the backup process. Okay, I can create an access code or a pin, or you can use a word or a phrase. And then you'll just need to re-enter it again. All right, now I'm gonna rescan the prim primary card. Uh, you can just make sure the number matches there. So there's the last few digits of the number. So I'm gonna scan that card again same way we did the first time. There we go. All right, and then we'll uh, do backup card number one. Just check the number on the bottom. All right, I've got the number to match. I'm just gonna, oh, okay, we'll uh, click the button here. Bring that over. All right, and then it wants me to scan backup card number two. Just uh, double check the number, make sure it matches the one they're showing me. I'll hit scan card, bring it over, hold it there for a bit until it's finished. Okay. All right, I'll go ahead and use face ID. Okay, we're all finished there. 
We'll hit continue to my wallet. And there we go. Got It indicates uh, that I've got three cards set up. And I have a primary card and two backups, right? So uh, I'll work with the primary card. The cards hold the private key. Uh, from what I understand, the cards are interchangeable, but uh, I'll use this as the primary card because that's the way it's indicated in my app. All right, so I'll go ahead and fund the wallet now, and I'll use two methods. The first method, I'll use a phone-based app to do my uh, withdraw and transfer to the wallet. And in the second case, I'll use a desktop-based app, and in that case, I'm basically going to share the address with myself. So let's start off with the easiest case phone to phone. All right, so I've got my uh, Coinbase app open here. It has a balance of some Bitcoin and some Ethereum in there. Uh, let's go back over to the uh, Tangem app. All right, so I'll start with Bitcoin by tapping on the Bitcoin. And what I want to do is copy the Bitcoin address into my clipboard. I'll just tap copy over there. I'll slide back over to Coinbase. And then uh, from the home screen, I'll do a send. I'll choose Bitcoin. All right, I'll do a paste from clipboard of that Bitcoin address. We'll tap continue. And I'm gonna go ahead and send it all since it's a pretty small amount. Uh, you wanna test your wallet out with small test transactions before sending large amounts. All right, and I'll click send now. All right, and off it goes. So I sent uh, some Bitcoin out of my Coinbase account into the Tangem wallet. We can go back over to the wallet and then just kind of wait for the Bitcoin to arrive. All right, you'll notice in the Bitcoin wallet now, I have a little message that says transaction is in progress. So if we tap on the Bitcoin wallet, uh, you can see that we're uh, receiving some Bitcoin here. So when it confirms on the blockchain, uh, it'll show up in the wallet. All right, so while we're waiting for the Bitcoin to fully confirm on the blockchain and uh, show up in the wallet as a full balance, let's do the Ethereum. And for the Ethereum, what I'd like to do is show you how to send it from a desktop-based application. So instead of hitting copy and the Ethereum and flipping back over to my Coinbase phone app, I'm just gonna choose share here and I'll go ahead and send that address to myself. Right, I sent myself that email address. I can just copy it into my clipboard. I go back over here to Coinbase and I will do a send over here on the top, send receive. I'll go ahead and switch this to Ethereum. I'll send it all. And then I'll paste in the address that I received in my email. This is the address of my Tangem wallet. We'll hit continue here. All right, so the Ethereum has gone out. It's on its way to my wallet. Notice how I didn't really need the card uh, when I was doing my sends. I was able to grab the address from the app. Uh, that's because the app has all the public information of the wallets, right? You don't really need the card uh, to get the public addresses of your wallets. Now, we will be using the card when we authorize outgoing transactions. So... Uh, keep tuned for that. But let's just confirm that both cryptos have arrived in my wallet. All right, and now you can see that uh, the Bitcoin has arrived and the uh, balance is showing up in the wallet and I have a total balance in my Tangem wallet. Now, I would like to show you how to send crypto back to an exchange. Uh, now, I'm gonna be sending my crypto back to Coinbase but we could be sending it anywhere, right? We could be sending it to Binance US, KuCoin, Gemini, Kraken, or we could be sending it to one of our other wallets or uh, sending it to a friend. Uh, a crypto transfer is pretty much uh, consistent across all platforms. All you need is uh, a receiving address on the other end and you'll uh, send your crypto to that address. All right, you can see it says verified balance. Now, uh, what I wanna do is ascend. So in this case, I'll just grab the address from my Coinbase account. So over in Coinbase, I can do receive, tell them I want to receive Bitcoin, right? There's the Bitcoin address of my Coinbase account. 
I'll copy it into my clipboard, slide back over to the wallet. We'll go ahead and tap send, and then I'll paste in the address of my Coinbase account. I'll go ahead and send the max. When you tap into the uh, edit window where you want to put in your amount of Bitcoin or dollars, you can switch it. Uh, they have a maximum amount down here where I can just tap that, fill in the maximum amount. Right, and now I'll tap send, and this is where we're gonna need our card, right? Uh, the card is the private key, so I'm gonna tap the card to the bottom of the phone, just like we did when we did the setup. Right, there we go. Uh, transaction has been sex successfully signed, sent to the blockchain node, wallet balance will be updated in a while, All right? So very easy to use, right? Uh, I did it, it was a typical send, uh, all I had to do was pick up the card and tap it to the back of the phone to authorize the outgoing transaction. All right. I'll do the same thing with the Ethereum. Just go into the Ethereum. Right now, in this case, we'll, let's try to uh, use the QR code feature. So in my Coinbase account, I can indicate that I want to receive some Ethereum. Hit receive here, and whoops, I'll switch to Ethereum. All right, and I'm using the Ethereum network, so I'll leave the settings the way they are. Notice I have that QR code now. In Tangent Wallet, I can tap the little icon there for the QR code. I'll allow camera access, right? So now that I've opened up the camera, I can scan the address QR code from Coinbase, and it auto-fills the address in there for me, right? Uh, we'll go ahead and tap in the edit field. I'll choose maximum amount. I'll dismiss this. There is a small uh, Ethereum fee. That's just part of life on the Ethereum network. I'll tap send here. I'm going to need to authorize this outgoing transaction by tapping it with my card. All right, so I've got my phone here. I've got my card here. I'm just going to put the card behind the phone to sign the outgoing transaction. And there we go, success again, all right? And you can see the outgoing transaction, right? So basically all I had to do to sign the transaction was tap my card on the back of the phone, all right? You can see now the wallet is emptied out. I can add more tokens. It supports more than just Ethereum and Bitcoin. We'll tip, uh, tap manage tokens. Um, I could add XRP. Uh, and I have different chains that I can choose from. All right. When we add tokens, we need to scan the card too. All right. And now you can see I've added XRP. So there are quite a few tokens that I can add. I've got the Polygon. See, and, and the different chains. I can add uh, Ethereum uh, chain, BNB chain, uh, Solana chain, or Polygon main chain. Uh, a lot of great options for managing Polygon Matic here. We'll save changes. Uh, we didn't need to add the card because uh, the uh, Ethereum chain was already established, right? Polygon runs on the EVM or the Ethereum virtual machine. So we should be able to add those chains simply by uh, enabling the network. We can do Cardano, do the Cardano main probably ask us to uh, put the card up for this one. We'll do that. So now we're managing Cardano. So we can manage multiple tokens. Really easy to get set up, really easy to fund the wallet, real easy to transfer out of the wallet using the card. Uh, there is no backup phrase for this wallet, right? Uh, we didn't have to write anything down. There's no danger of us accidentally revealing our backup code to a stranger. Uh, we have two backups here. Uh, these are like bearer bonds, right? So don't lose these because anyone that has these in their possession can access the crypto that's stored on the card. They just download the app and sync up, right? So uh, keep these in a safe place like you would anything that's of value, like a gold coin or a fine work of art. Uh, keep it under lock and key uh, or keep it hidden, how, whatever the case may be. Uh, but uh, don't lose all three of these, right? Because that'll, the, the, you'll, you'll lose access to your crypto.
So we've got uh, a primary card and two backups. That should be enough for just about anybody. I would suggest maybe keeping this one uh, s somewhere in your house and maybe keeping the secondary somewhere off-site, like a uh, safe deposit box or uh, someone else's house, someone you can trust, a brother, sister, sibling, mother, father, that sort of thing. So just in case, you know, fire, flood, earthquakes, you know, at your house, uh, you'll have an off-site backup, right? All right, so if you have any questions about anything I did, please throw them up in the comments and I'll do my best to get them answered. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you'd like to subscribe to my channel, I would appreciate it. When you subscribe, there's a little bell that you can click that will allow you to be alerted whenever I post new content. Once again, thanks for joining me and hope to see you again soon.